Good morning and welcome back to our Saturday sofa share. The weather is glorious. Isn't it just? It's the Silverstone Grand Prix weekend as well, which I'm so jealous because one of our team members, Ollie, mm. is there this weekend. So, um, yeah, good luck to him and I uh, hope the weather stays nice for him and for everybody else out there as well. But um, chat we want to have um, today, we've been discussing this over the last couple of weeks. Obviously, we're the, I suppose, we're released back into the open from Monday, aren't we? It sounds like um, yep. Yeah, that's what we're expecting to come forward. So, we just wanted to kind of explain what we're doing as a company, okay? And this is all to do with, obviously, face masks, social distancing, hand sanitizing, viewing requirements, that kind of thing. And I think, in a nutshell, we're not really going to change what we're doing, are we? No, I think over the last year or so it's become, uh, it's worked so well, uh, the, me the methods that we put in place following the um, COVID guidelines issued by the government that, uh, yeah, we really don't feel there's little need to change at this moment, especially with infection rates soaring. Um, I know a lot of us have been jabbed um, yeah. with great success, hopefully, but uh, yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, we, we were chatting sort of during the week and unfortunately I've just had my second jab, Michelle's had hers, but the majority of the team um, you included, have only had your first jab, haven't you? So yeah. you're still not up to what they class as the, the, the full cover. I'm not fully vaccinated yet, no. But we also have a lot of uh, younger team members, so of course they weren't eligible to, uh, yeah. to have the second jab yet. Um, most of them have had the first, but uh, yeah. And I, and I think, also, I think our biggest concern would be for the elderly and vulnerable. So what are we going to do, Andrew? What are we, what are we saying to people? Yeah, so we can't force you to wear a face mask from Monday, uh, but we're going to strongly encourage you to do so. Um, we will take our specific client instructions as to whether they feel comfortable people entering the house without a face mask. Yeah. Uh, all of our team members will do. I've got very used to it. I'm going to continue to do so. Mm -hmm. um, we do have quite a few, as Roy said, vulnerable elderly people who have been shielding over the last year or so. Um, they would still very much like us to, and you as the viewers, to wear face masks. Uh, and again, our younger team members, um, they all still feel very comfortable wearing face masks. So, yeah, we're going to continue to wear uh, face masks, we're yeah. continue to sanitise, continue to follow the COVID guidelines about uh, time, length of viewings. Uh, children still not being encouraged to view with mum and dad, because uh, it's worked so well. And again, we don't want to put anyone at risk. Um, we are in an industry where we're entering um, households, or multiple households on a daily basis, meeting lots and lots of people. We've been very privileged to be able to continue our work over the last year or so, um, but it does come with responsibility as well, and we really don't feel there's any need to change. Um, so hopefully everyone can understand that. Yeah, I think that's the important thing, isn't it? We, we were, as you said quite rightly, back in June last year, we were very fortunate we were um, allowed to sort of come back to work, to operate, to help people move. And we've followed these guidelines to the letter mm. throughout. And I think it would be very short-sighted of agents to, I suppose, go back to the old ways. And in my head, the old ways were you could do an open house, you'd have like the, the door flung open and 10, 20, 30 people would come walking through, touching, sharing. And, and I think also clients that were that have been selling have been used to only having proceedable buyers come through yeah. and proceedable tenants i mean all our tenants when they're out viewing or applicants rather um are pre-vetted and will continue to do so as you yeah. say they need to be in a position not just window shopping as we would call it um but from a, from a buyer's perspective you will need to still be in a position to proceed so yeah it's going to sound really harsh but i think if you are if you've got a property to sell and you're not on the market do not be surprised if the majority of agents out there still won't book you a viewing. Yep. Um, my stance on it is that ideally I would want every single buyer to be in a position to proceed, so under offer or nothing to sell. Um, obviously we want to talk to people that have got properties to sell or on the market, so let's talk about those and deal with those cases on an individual basis um, because we want to be as helpful as we can. But. Um, if we can't let you into a property uh, without a mask, that's not going to be our decision, that will be the owner's. So again, it will be the owner's decision and they have the right to do that. So do check when you're ringing up. We're not trying to put barriers up for you. We're just trying to make sure that everybody's safe, everybody continues. Yes, everybody wants out of this um, sort of COVID scenario, of course we do, but let's do it sensibly. Let's be mature about it. 
let's be professional about it and yeah, it, all in all let's just take care really isn't it yeah I think we've done extremely well as a team I mean I'm not aware that any of us have actually uh, no. been infected or, or contracted COVID uh, which has been brilliant news um, and we certainly didn't want to be the first agents in uh, our town Ashford that we operate to uh, inadvertently bring COVID into somebody's household um, as I say I've repeated it and I'll do it again it's worked so so well over the last year and a bit um, that we just don't feel we're just to change. Uh, yeah, and we're going to continue to do so. There was a scenario I had, um, it was going back to about February time, and I was doing a viewing on a rental property, and on a vacant property, and I said to the client, um, did my usual speech, um, you haven't had any symptoms, etc. cetera, not been touched, well, you haven't either, that's fantastic, please put your mask on, sanitise that. Anyway, they, long and short of it, they turned around and said, oh, we've done a viewing with, and they told me the agent name, I won't mention it, um, and they said, no, they didn't, they said, no, it's fine, it's up to you, what you want to do, we don't care. That's just, that's just wrong. So we're not out to offend you. Um, we're not out to cause issues and make life harder for you. If anything, we're trying to continue to ensure that everybody, and I mean everybody, not just clients selling or renting out, tenants looking for properties, but the staff, and I have um, a responsibility. We have a responsibility to each other here at Evolution, and I think that's really important. Um, We've been very fortunate that we do have um, a, like a locked door policy anyway, mm -hmm. um, but we still welcome you to the office, just push the buzzer and we'll let you in. Um, that's pretty standard anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the, upbeat, we are coming out of this. I think that's fantastic. I think that's the real positive yes. thing to take from this, but we've got to do it sensibly. Mm -hmm. And I think if we just sort of just went, yeah, fine, we go back to our old ways. I think, yeah, that we'd need shooting for that in my opinion. Okay. So yeah. um, be interesting to see what other agents don't follow that and just jump straight back feet first mm -hmm. and crack on. I think, I think it's very sad if they do that, that they've not learned a lesson from this. So, um, okay, so let's be even more upbeat, Andrew. Yep. Property of the week. Property what are we gonna talk about today? So uh, stunning little uh, two bedroom apartment over at Richard Hillary Close. Uh, That's just that way, isn't it? Indeed. So it doesn't help you with viewers with me pointing that way, but um, it's <laughs> kind of a stone throw, from, yeah, stone throw from our office here. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So uh, our client bought the property just three years ago, has spent uh, a fair bit of money, a brand new kitchen, a new carpeting, upgraded the electric heating to the energy efficient. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah, so got rid of those horrible old night storage heaters yeah. that people don't like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so as I said, two bedrooms, two double bedrooms, ensuite shower room, family bathroom, lovely lounge dining room new kitchen electric heating double wow. glazing uh, views to the front over what we call the sheep field but essentially it's a, a large open uh, space with the river nice style. views yeah, yeah. and yeah, ground floor you said was ground it ground floor yeah, yeah so that's handy if you're not wanting to go upstairs and everything and, and you need the easy access that's exactly why our client bought it yeah fantastic uh, so price on this one Amazing, I think, good value for money. Offers in the region of £145,000. So Roy will put in the details in the link. Do have a look. A video tours are there, the 3D Dells House, some great photographs as well. Uh, if you're interested, uh, just drop us a like. Yeah. yeah, give us a call. Yeah. So that's it from us this weekend. Again, be safe, be sensible. Um, we're looking forward to coming out of um, the COVID scenario. Um, but again, can't say this enough. Just think before you do anything. Think why we're doing these keeping things in place and it is to protect everybody around us so that's it for me this weekend thank you very much indeed for joining us yep, all from you it is indeed i'm looking forward to the silverstone grand prix we're going to try and spot ollie our uh, lovely, <laughs> lovely captain i think there's over two hundred thousand people there so yeah we'll find ollie where's it that game isn't it where's wally but it's not quite wally it's ollie where's, um, what, where's so, yeah. <laughs> so that's it from us thank you very much indeed we'll see you next weekend take care bye 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 for now